<sighs> I just saw the most disgusting house I've ever been in. Yeah. <laughs> So let me tell you how it all started. Woke up this morning and I checked my email like I often do. I get an email from a wholesaler. Now this wholesaler, I know typically whenever they send something, it's a good deal. So I check it out and I check the ARV and I check the asking price and I'm like, hold up, I think we got something. So as I'm looking through the photos and I'm assessing, okay, well, first off, let me make sure that this ARV is actually correct because if it is, it's something that's worth looking more into. And from there, things were just checking off, right? So the location was good, the ARV, it looks like they undercut their ARV, right? And the repairs, I was a little iffy on, but I was like, hey, I gotta actually go to the property to see what type of work actually needs to be done because by the looks of these pictures, this, this horde situation was insane. Now when I say the horde situation was insane, what I'm talking about is, it looks like they've been hoarding for decades, right? All right, I'm talking about this. The entire kitchen has clothes uh, stacked to about halfway. The living room is all the way completely full. And the wholesaler, he warned me. He was like, hey, when you go to this house, just know that you will not be able to see the floors. I'm like, okay, maybe that's a figure of speech. No, when I got to the house, I could not see the floors. Now, of course, this home needed a ton of renovations, right? And when I say when I got to the home, it was a little bit more than I expected. All right, when it came to the type of renovations that you needed, you need a new roof, right? You need the sheathing that's under the roof. Uh, the fascia need to be replaced. The soffits need to be replaced. It needed new AC. It needed uh, new air ducts. It needed pretty much everything completely remodeled on the inside. It didn't need to be gutted though. It did not need to be gutted, but pretty much everything else needed to be done. So when it was all said and done, I took photos and I assessed the entire property. Uh, and I'll probably have a B-roll at the end of this vid uh, video to show you the magnitude of how much hoarding was actually going on right and so i went ahead i spoke to the neighbor he explained to me how he had to uh, kill many rats uh, that was in the home uh, and how he just pretty much had to do what he could to protect his home from folks that were breaking into that home and trying to steal as many things as they can uh, but i looked at the property and i had to think to myself you know is this a property that i want to take on because of all the work that's needed and well the answer to that is Yes, yes, I want to take on that property. Because look, this isn't always the case, but I want you to go into this mindset of you never want a house that's ready to roll. You want a house that has a lot of room for you to come in and create value to it because in those situations, that's what you can get the best deal possible. So don't run away from houses that have rodents, houses that have uh, you know holes in a roof or whatever it is because those are the homes that you can get for a much, much deep discount and create value for yourself and value will end up being profits in your bank account. So pretty much with that being said, my wife and I, we're gonna be looking over all the pictures and all the numbers to make sure that it makes sense whenever we're creating that offer for that wholesaler because he knows that we close. He knows that we're the real deal. So for him, he's like, hey, just give us a number that makes sense for us. And we'll make sure that it's yours and we're ready to roll. We won't even show it to other investors. But of course, uh, if our offer does not satisfy what he's looking for, then he's going to open it up to everybody else. But I have a pretty strong feeling that their offer is probably going to be close to what we're offering, but we'll see. But if this does work for us, We'll make sure that we're documenting the process just like we do with all of our other properties. And if you have any questions about the flipping process, then go ahead and put those questions below. If you want to learn how to get your first wholesale deal in 90 days or less, go ahead and click the link below that leads you to my ebook, Wholesaling 101 Your First Steps. And there you'll learn the ins and outs of wholesaling and how to actually get your first deal in 90 days or less. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you love the information I provide to you all, go ahead and uh, like this video and also subscribe so that you're notified of whenever I am posting another video. With that being said, thank y'all so much for watching and I cannot wait for y'all to get y'all first deal. See ya.